Right, welcome to this video. Uh, it's to show you how to improve gamemat.eu terrain. Uh, so to take it from the standard that you receive uh, here pre-painted and then to upgrade it. Uh, a very, very simple technique that I'll show you in this video. Uh, it's so easily done. I've upgraded two sets of this uh, fallout zone here. It took me less than an hour, about an hour to do the whole lot. Uh, two sets done and ready to use for our games of 40k. I'll show you a table setup that's done with the new and improved uh, version of this pre-painted terrain from gamemat.eu. So I'll show you the reason for the upgrade first of all. The, the terrain comes uh, obviously pre-made and then pre-painted uh, and it's, it's ready to use straight away. But what you get is a sort of a very uh, basic colour scheme here and it's just a case of just some simple techniques just to improve and upgrade this. I've already done it with my industrial terrain set, been painting, adding on transfers and posters and so on. This process I'm about to show you is even quicker. Uh, and what you're doing is just enhancing what's already been done for you. The great advantage with pre-painted or pre-assembled terrain is that it's, it comes straight out of the box and it's ready to use. And then pre-painted means that you can just set it up straight away. Downside is uh, I've got the chem zone uh, mat just here. And then when you take this color scheme and put it on top, uh, you can see it's all right. It's good enough to play straight away, but you've got uh, sort of neutral grey colours going on here and then if you look at this mat uh, it's not just grey you've got stone colours running through there is a hint of green going on as well and so what, I've, what I'm trying to do is to get this terrain set to then match in with the mat here and just to show you a simple te technique of how you can do that very very quickly indeed so the improved version and uh, it's, it's trying to take the colours that are in this and bring it into the terrain just to match the whole thing together as a set. So here's the improved set that I've done. Uh, just very simple technique, but I've taken, uh, here's one of them here, so there's the original, and now I've made it into this color here to match in with the rest of the terrain. So just give you an idea of how it looks. I'm very happy with how these chemical plants here have come out, uh, enhancing those as well. So materials that you'll need uh, to do the upgrade, as I said, it's very, very straightforward. I uh, don't need an airbrush either, it's just aerosol cans. And the key is to use multiple colours to get the effect that you want. So this is very neutral at the moment, just uh, primed black, highlighted with grey and white, and that's it. We're going to try and add some more colours in. So the great thing about this is a lot of the work's been done for you. It's been primed, and some highlighting and metallic work has already been done for you. It's just looking just to add on top of that. So the colours that I'm uh, using is it's and it may look a little bit different on camera i'm i'm seeing a, a warmer color here than what's on the screen ad here so it's really a case of what you're looking to do is is take your terrain set and then get it to match in with the mat and so you're just looking for colors that need to be then added onto your terrain so the colors i have seen here is uh, green so this is uh, angel green here from army painter i'm going to use a very very small amount of that and uh, then uh, it's the leather brown from Army Painter as well. Uh, so it's that kind of brown colour that you can see. Just on the nozzle there. So it's that leather brown. Same colour I used to undercoat and spray my hawks. Uh, and then here's uh, desert yellow. So it's just kind of tan stone colour here to add on. And that colour is, is in here. Then finally, uh, to tone this down because it's quite bright, uh, I'm going to use the Stealth Discrete Colour. Uh, that's from the Montana Gold range. Just sort of a darker grey. You can use other uh, brands of spray if you want to, but I always uh, thought highly of this colour here and used it for multiple projects for terrain and, and models and so on. It's the base colour I use to spray my towel, for example. Uh, so I'm using this spray quite a lot, but sort of a darker, mediumish sort of grey colour as well. So four spray cans, uh, and a few paints as well. Uh, Sarah from Sepia, just a pot of that, an old brush, and then uh, for this set here, there is this sort of chemical plant stuff going on. So just some of the old moot green and flash gets yellow, uh, a little bit of that to use for this project as well. But very limited on materials here, just a few spray cans, a couple of paints, and you can upgrade the entire set in a very short space of time. So I'll not spray this one here, just walk you through it. Uh, so the order that I go into here, and you're looking to get this result like so, so you can see the difference between the two. Just introducing some colors into this thing. So, first of all, I use the angel green, a very light spray uh, around, just sort of, 
not looking to evenly coat the whole thing but just to drag the spray across and just to flick some color uh, just lightly across the inside and outside and, and top of the building once that's done uh, I then move on to the darker grey. You could spray that into the deeper recesses just to make them a bit darker. Uh, but a general spray, and what that grey will do is just take out the harshness of the highlight uh, on this and tone it down. Then after that, a little flick of the brown across, just starting to introduce another colour. So you've got green going on, then brown being added on on top of that. And then this edge here, this sort of tan edge, I'm trying to replicate uh, on this. So that's where the desert yellow colour comes in. A little flick of that. And you should flick a little bit more on sort of the edge type parts along here uh, just to finish it off. So then you get uh, something that looks like that, that kind of colour which matches in with this matte. The way I'm seeing it here with, with eyesight, the camera's coming up a little bit different here, but these are matching in very nicely indeed. And really, what you're, you're just going by your, your eye and trying to match in your terrain uh, with the mats, the whole thing just links in nicely. So once those sprays are on, nothing too intense, but it really will start to make a difference uh, with this. So you can see the difference there. A bit of metallic work to do. So anywhere there's metallics, so these window shutters, the pipe openings here, uh, and also on these uh, bits of broken reinforced concrete, bits of metal sticking out, the grills and so on. Not too much, not too fussy. Uh, on top here, these bits that have already been painted metal for you and still be showing through slightly despite the, uh, the sprays going on top if you've been light enough. Just taking a bit of the serif from sepia and just washing that into these areas just to add a little bit more detail uh, to that. And then finally, uh, watered down moot green with the yellow. Just mixing it in. It's already been painted. It comes to your pre-painted green anyway, so you've got a base colour already. And then you're just adding these colours in just to enhance that and make it a little bit more toxic. And again, it can match up with the glowing colours coming from the mat. So that's the colours and paints. Describe the process too. It's just okay. I'd, I, if I were you and what I did with this set was just practice on one piece, that will give you an idea of what proportions to use the sprays in. But it's you're I've done this a few times now. Just introducing a few colours. Picking out the colours that you need from your battle mat, whichever colour scheme it is, and then uh, using multiple sprays and then just toning this down, these harsh colours, and then just bring in the colours from the mat onto the terrain. And then you get a result like this as a table set up uh, with these. And I've done two sets, so there's two sets being used here as for this fallout zone uh, terrain set. And it literally took me an hour. Quick spray, took about 20 minutes to spray up the whole lot. Add, and then just the inks going around just with a rough brush add, adding that on and then a little bit of, of work to about five minutes just to do uh, the toxic colors uh, there on these two buildings as well so i hope that gives you a good idea uh, of what can be done setting up the train then the battle mat rolls out nice and flat uh, the improved terrain just placing that on the board then for this particular setup with the game mat.eu terrain uh, the way they've done the pipes the exits here actually ma matches up perfectly with their own pipe set or with the Games Workshop set here, which I've added on. Again, just using the serif from Sepia Wash so the rust is all harmonious across the set here. You've got the Munitorum Armour containers, just adding those on on the board. Boxes and barrels and containers just added on. And then to finish off, just some stones and scatter, uh, which again match in with the terrain quite nicely. Just blending the whole thing in. And in amongst my stones and scatter, I have little odd bits of kits, all like rusty panels and so on. I just get randomly added to the battlefield. There's another piece just there. And again, this is a Games Workshop bit of piping, but it just connects on perfectly to the uh, pipe coming out there from that building. But very, very happy with the setup. As uh, this terrain, as, as I said, about an hour to do, spraying up, easily done, a little bit of ink and so on added on just to blend the whole thing in. And now we've got a terrain uh, set that we can use for our games of 40k. But I hope that video is a help uh, to you. Very simple process, very easy to upgrade, and that's the kind of results that you can expect. Keep a look out for more videos on the channel. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time. Uh, and the link for gamemat.eu is in the video description below. And that's for supplies of battle mats and pre painted terrain.